Let's go on a thrifting adventure. <laughs> So since thrifting is kind of my thing, I thought I would take you guys around the Kansai area and show you some of my favorite thrift stores and just some of the best thrifting areas around here. So I think when most people think about thrifting in Kansai or Osaka, the first place that comes to mind is Amemura and we will go there eventually. But I think we should start in Horie, which is one of my favorite areas here because there's really, really nice cafes and there's some like fancy furniture shops, but there's also a few thrift stores here, so let's do that. Although this area is called Horie, there's not actually a Horie station. I usually just walk from Shinsaibashi station, which is pretty convenient because there are a lot of train lines there. So this store is called Jam. They have a few locations throughout Kansai. I think it's a really well curated store, so I do visit most of the locations so by the end of this video you're either going to want to visit there or you're going to be really tired of seeing this store we'll see what happens they have a pretty wide range of both men's and women's clothing and at each location they also have a ton of doc martens there are other shoes too but notably there are so many doc martens not in this shot but in so many colors and patterns i didn't even know existed they also do a really good job of following what's on trend at the moment but making it used clothing which is cool because do we really want to support fast fashion and the exploitation of garment workers hmm. this location also had a kids section which i think is the only jam store that had that but let's move on to the next place this one is called charo charo the employee told me that they had just opened recently but they had some pretty legit vintage pieces in there this one kindle was mostly designer stuff so i didn't spend a lot of time in there i don't care about brands Let's take a break for a moment. The way that I find all of these places is just going on the Google Maps and searching for either Furugia, which is like a thrift store, or a cycle shop. So usually in any town, like not even in these areas too, wherever you're staying, you should look up either of these terms. Recycle shops are less curated and you'll find a bunch of other things in there besides clothing, but the cheapest stuff you're gonna find is in recycle shop. And then the Furugia are usually more curated so it's going to be a little bit more expensive but i'll leave the names of those two things in the description box so you can copy and paste it when you come here if you want to look for those so let's continue our journey we passed this next place at grizzly as we were walking down the street it had some cozy comfy laid back kind of vibes kind of looked like somebody's bedroom or their basement some cardboard boxes around here it's kind of funny though because in most of these stores the employees asked if we were visiting japan but there are no tourists right now, you know? This store was very interesting. This is like a classy, vintage lady. Very expensive, lots of designer stuff. They were filming a live stream in here, so we had to be really quiet. Not like you can hear anyway, because I'm doing voiceover. But yeah, they do two live streams a day, apparently. But let's go to the next location, which is... <laughs> so right now, we're on a side street that's kind of near... Kawaramachi Station, Gion Shijo Station, or you can also walk to Sanjo Station from around here. So along a lot of these side streets, you have shops like you have shops like Jam, for example, which is my favorite thrift store in Kansai. But also, if you go back to Teramachi, which is like the shopping street, there are a lot of thrift stores along there too. Some of them have a better price point than stores like this for example, but I like Jam particularly because they upcycle a lot of clothing and they take things like oversized dresses and make them into like two-piece sets for example. So I like this store, but there's a lot around here. So if you do come to this area, then I encourage you to explore along the shopping street and also to explore all the side streets too because of course i can recommend you the shops that i like but it's your preference so you should explore it. so but anyway let's go there are a lot of thrift stores along this street but i always get so caught up on jam because i know it's going to be good across the street they also have what you could call the men's location but it's kind of gender neutral especially if you like oversized clothing but let's go back to what they call the ladies store it could be the anybody store, but they call it the ladies store. Uh, this is another remake thing. I really like the way that they style their mannequins, too. Like, I get so much inspiration just from this. 
there's also a lot of like old lady fashion that I guess is trending now. These are some of those two piece sets that I had mentioned before that used to be a dress. Like, look how cute all of this is! So many scarves too! You'll find a lot of other interesting places too as you walk down the street, like Bumpkin Monkey Chop, for example. Or Une, whatever that may be, it looks cute. Or Panama Boy, interesting name. They also do a lot of remake stuff here, but I don't think they are as good as Jam. Like, this is a football jersey and a dress shirt, and the absolute worst one was putting kimono sleeves on a dress shirt. Like, ooh, I want to forget that. Um, it's kind of hit or miss with this store. Sometimes I find cute things, sometimes I don't. Um, this one, they had a decent sales section, but I didn't particularly like this store. Not my style. But then, let's move on to my next favorite store, which is called Three Star. They also have an Osaka location, but this Kyoto one was enormous. If you went through all of the racks of clothing here, I think it would probably take an entire day. There's so much. And their price point is really good, too. I think it's much more affordable than Jam, but it's a bigger store, so it takes a longer time to navigate it. But they do have a lot of really affordable options here, and still trendy stuff for both men and women. The only thing about this store is that you're only allowed to try on three pieces of clothing at a time, which is fine, but if there are other people waiting in line for the fitting room, you have to try on three, get out, wait in line again, and then go back. Another personal favorite of mine is Chicago. I think they have locations in Tokyo too, that's probably where it originated, but their sidewalk sales are really nice, and just in general, their price point is very affordable. Of course, a wide range of trousers, dresses, oversized sweaters, all those goods. And then if you keep walking down Teramachi, there are a ton more shops. Honestly, I was so tired, so we didn't go into all of them. But yeah, just walk around and explore. So let's go to the next location, which is... Tanomiya in Kobe. I always come to this area for work, but it's kind of like... A trendy area i think because there's a lot of cool like bars and restaurants around here so on google maps it seemed like there was a lot of thrift stores around here so i thought i would check it out sun nomia is not known for their thrift stores but it's a pretty nice area of kobe so i thought i would check it out just in case and see if i found anything interesting there i will say though that it was really hard to find all of these stores without using maps it's not like the locations in osaka and kyoto where you can just walk down the street and you're going to find a ton of thrift stores this place, Second Street, most towns have one. So if there's any near you, you should definitely check it out. It varies on the location, depends on who lives in the area because there might be more designer stuff or cheaper stuff. They had a mix of both in this store, but mainly designer stuff. Had to pull out Google Maps again to find the next location, passed a ragtag along the way. I don't like that store though. Then this store is called Junk Shop. For me, this was the best one that I had found of the day. Kind of similar vibes to Chicago, 3 Star, Jam. Their price point was more similar to Jam though. It was a little bit more on the expensive side, although some stuff was cheaper. All in all, I would not recommend Sanomia as a place just for thrifting, but I would recommend it as a place to check out for bars and restaurants because it's just a really cool area in general. And then let's circle back to... Amemura! Short for America Mura or American Village, it got its name because of all the import shops here. Although now it's more Korean vibes, you can hear Korean hip hop and K pop coming from the stores. It does remind me of Korea actually, because a lot of the shops have the same thing. Like, I swear we saw this Leon and Matilda sweater like 30 times. There's also a lot of fake designer goods, which is interesting, and like sportswear, like hype beast kind of stuff, but a lot of it is fake. But among all this, you can find lots of thrift stores too. We Go Vintage is another store that I particularly like. There's a really cool one in Shimokitazawa in Tokyo too. Amemura kind of reminds me of Shimokitazawa in a way because there's just a lot of thrift stores in a really concentrated area and it's very easy to walk down the street and find like 30. So let's do that. Just kidding, we have to go into this mall sort of place to go to the second three-star location because seriously, three-star is like the best. The Kyoto one was bigger, but this Osaka one was also huge, and lots of grandma sweaters here. My friend had also talked to this other foreign girl 
in the shop and that girl subscribed to both of our youtube channels so if you're watching this video i'm sorry i didn't talk to you i thought that i would leave you alone because a lot of foreigners don't want to be bothered so say hello if you're watching this video <laughs> i got so excited by seeing mason jars in here too because they're so hard to find in recycle shops but they were f like 15 dollars each 1500 yen no way they also do some remake stuff here which was okay it was a little bit on the cheaper side but i didn't like anything then let's go to the fitting room it is comfy sweater time this one was so cute but it was literally so dusty and crusty i couldn't this sweater vest was also cute but this one maybe i bought it you have to check out Amemura at least once, especially if you're just visiting Osaka. It's also where the cool kids hang out apparently, but I don't know, I'm not cool. There are just so many thrift stores here that even though I don't particularly like Amemura because of the weird fake designer vibes, I like all the thrift stores there. The very last stop on this thrifting journey is Momodani Station in Osaka. I came here because this is where the last jam location is. I was hoping that there would be more thrift stores in the area and that I would discover a secret spot, but actually there was only jam. That worked out really nicely though because I had the whole top floor to myself and it was such a comfortable experience. This was on a Monday by the way, so it would be less crowded in general, but I could shop so comfortably. I tried on a ton of things. It's also kind of interesting that even though they have five locations, the stores look almost exactly the same. You can find basically the same things on all the stores but this one was home to the most overpriced t-shirts i've ever seen who is gonna pay fourteen thousand yen for a green day t-shirt come on and i don't know if you noticed that titanic t-shirt that i had picked up before i was about to spend five thousand yen on that because that's kind of the average price of their t-shirts sadly but it was ichiman like are you kidding me no this is another remake shirt very cute then let's go to the, 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 the fitting room. I definitely tried on the most stuff at this location just because it was so comfortable to shop here. But let's go back to my house. So that brings us to the end of this little thrifting journey. Thank you so much if you're still watching. And before we go, I want to do a quick little try on haul so I can show you some of the things that I found. And of course, including the prices and the stores where I bought them. But even before that, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Rhiannon for joining me for most of this and for helping me film it. So thank you Rhiannon and you should check out her YouTube. She also has one if you're interested in life in Kyoto and she has really like peaceful videos. So give her a watch too, but okay. Yeah, let's try on the stuff. Let's start off with these corduroy trousers that I'm wearing now. They're a little bit big. But I got these at Jam for 4,000 yen. Then we have this skirt from 3 Star that was 1,500. Then there's these floral pajama looking pants from 3 Star. I forget the price, so I'm going to insert it. I thought it would be cute with an oversized sweater over it, maybe. Then we've got these brown pants that I got at Jam. I think they were 5,000 because they are Levi's. They're not denim though, they're like dress pants materials, but the shape is nice. Then we have these purple cords that I got at Jam. There are no back pockets, so I think that really adds to the whole wedgie that I get from these. Then we have this very long corduroy dress. This is the only dress that I got. This was from Chicago. I think I need to get a new waist belt so I can belt it but it looks like a couch and it's corduroy and very fall vibes. I love it. Next onto tops, there's this velvet floral button down that I got from 3 Star for 1,500. I got this really soft sort of cropped cardigan at 3 Star. I think that was also 1,500, just the basic piece. This sweater I got at my local recycle shop for 1,100 yen. I think the material is called chenille, but I like how it's kind of shiny and it was cheap, so nice. This next top is my absolute favorite. This is one of the upcycled or remade pieces from Jam. So this was a men's polo Ralph Lauren dress shirt and they made it all freely. So this was more expensive. It was 6,000 yen, but I think it was okay to splurge on it because this is so cute and unique.
the next couple of shirts I got on sale at Jam over the summer. For some reason, for a limited time over the summer, they had a sale section, but they usually don't. So I really had to jump on that. The other shirt too. This is another one from the local recycle shop. I really liked the ribbon on the collar and this color is kind of odd. Next one from the recycle shop. It's kind of strange because it's a t-shirt that's itchy, but it was 70% off and this little flower land thing was so cute. I also had to get this top from the recycle shop because this material is so stretchy. Like it, it's, it's so hard to explain, but it reminds me of these like scrunchy crop tops that were really popular in the 90s. So it was just really nostalgic for me. And it's cute. It would not be a fall thrift haul without some chunky sweater. So here's that. This is from Three Star and it was 3,000 yen. <laughs> this is the second chunky sweater that I got. I really liked the details on it. It is extremely itchy, so I'm gonna have to wear something soft under it or else my skin is gonna fall off. Okay, this really is the end now. I know that Kyoto, Osaka, and Hyogo prefectures are not the only parts of Kansai, but they are the most easily accessible for me, so I chose to just highlight places in those areas. But if you know of any other place, let me know and I can check it out in the future. And yeah, let me know what you think about the stores that I introduced you guys to, or the areas, and the clothes that I bought. So I'll catch you guys next time in a video that may or may not be house related. Bye! Three o'clock? I can't wait that long. I'm an old lady. Let's go. <laughs>